this is CZ3D and NS Badge. We are using the app for the iPad tablet or just about any tablet. Um, it's called Map Rika. And you can use this application for any map, right? Any, any, if you, if you can scan a map, you can take a picture of a map, any map downloaded off the internet, and a paper map that you scan, and you can make it a GPS enabled map with this program called MapRika. Okay, let's show them this. Right here, if you want to slow down for a quick second, right here on our left is a horse field. And on our 1860s map, our location is the blue dot. That's what we are. Let me open this up a little bit. Right here, I have the map upside down, but you can see right here, it says SH, which is, <coughs> excuse me, which is schoolhouse. So we would have never known that that field right over there has an old schoolhouse in it, which now we're, you know, we're going to, today we're not going to, but we're going to stop and ask permission to hunt that. Um, any map is not going to show where structures used to be or where old foundations used to be. So this map here is 1860 map. It's called Map Rica. It's loaded onto the iPad. Um, and like Rick was saying, you can... You can uh, download, scan any maps, put it into this uh, put it into this app on your application on your iPad or whatever, and then you can drive around and see where places used to be. Old schoolhouses, old foundations, old cedar mills. We just went to an old cedar mill. Right now we're actually our we're the blue location right here. And we are going to go, we're actually going around Indian Pond, and we're going to drive over to the cemetery, which is right here, and right where my finger is, it says schoolhouse. That's where we're going to go, because I've driven by there hundreds of times. This is my hometown that we're in right now, and I didn't know that there's a schoolhouse there. So... Um, right now we're going to be going into the village. This is a this is a really good app to have on your tablets. For you know, you might think that there's uh, old fields or old parks that are all hunted out or whatever, and this is actually something that you can actually find where other foundations used to be or old foundations used to be. What you think is a field, is that there's actually a house there. Back in the 1860s or whatever, whatever map you find, this is just a good tool for you to find other locations to hunt. Um, and obviously, maybe the older the map is, the maybe the better finds that you'll find. But we actually haven't done any digging yet. Today's Easter Sunday, so we've kind of both been busy, but... Um, Right now we're going into the the old village here. This is the old dam. Downtown Saint Albans. Downtown Saint Albans. So up here at the blinking light, we're gonna make a right, and we'll take you to, along to show you that things have kind of changed a little bit here. So I'm gonna turn this around to get it exactly to what we want. Are we where, where are we supposed to be on that? Yeah. See, we're right we're at the blue dot, so we're gonna be according to this, we should be let me find it here. Yeah, we're on the right way. We're going down this way. So I think I can turn it around now. Yeah. So right here we just passed the Bigelow Road. And again we're the blue dot. And what's neat about this is actually did nobody behind us slow down a little bit. Right here. If you guys look, there's a foundation in this field. We'll look right in the field. There's no foundation in this field. It's all, there's an old rock wall, and it's an open field. So, the this, so this is 2013. There's no house here. So what does that tell us? It 
it tells us that oh we got a car behind us sorry it tells us that there was an old foundation there right here on our app and it was owned by um, according to this it says DD Stewart St St Stewart S T E W A R T so see and I've driven by that place wreck and I didn't know that either but see you can see well, that you could see like an old foundation there yeah that's all maintained and it's kinda there overgrown in the middle a little bit this is probably the house lot right in here see where the tall grass is yeah all let me see here. if I can zoom in here I think I can yeah it's let me zoom in right in there where the tall grass is there would have been a foundation so here it is 2013 March and our map here is from the 1860s so boom there's a potential location right there that we can hunt it's an open field it's not like it's manicured you know chances of us metal detecting that are going to be much higher than if there was a golf course there or something so this again this map is map Rica. it's it's actually um, downloaded onto Rick's the map is not map Rica. The program is called the, Maprika. The program, sorry, the program is called Maprika. This map is, we got the, you got the map from where? Library of Congress. Libraryofcongress.com. Is that what it was? No, or? it's, it's, we'll have to put, it's a different address, so it, we'll have to. The Library of Congress on the just internet. Google it. Just Google it and you'll be able to find it. So right here, Indian Pond is to our right. And if you look. Down in there to our right is Indian Pond. So this is an awesome tool to be using to look for old homesteads, old schoolhouses, old cedar mills, old shingle mills, whatever, you know, old tanneries. It's a great system to have. Now right here. What do we got? We gotta go right here? Or? Yeah, at the fork we're gonna go right. We got the fork in the road which is here, we can go left or right, we're gonna go right. It's called the Grant Road. And our destination is, now the other thing that I wanna explain is, um, the dot is going by 2013 GPS, right? The map, if you were to take a 2013 map and overlay it onto this 1860 map, we're gonna keep going straight. Yeah, right. it, the the roads are gonna be off a little bit. That's why when you're looking at the blue dot, which is our location, it's off just a little bit. But you can go in here and auto correct that. So um, right here, there's another stream. There's a stream right, right here. Yeah, right here. And on the map, it's right there where the blue dot is. And right here is our little stream. So are we lined up? Or? Uh, well, if you think you can correct it right here, we can do that. Actually, we're pretty close. Yeah, we're pretty I think we're right on it. Um, so up here on our left is going to be... Let me zoom back out. It's going to be the cemetery right here. CEM. This map is from 1860. And if you look... Right here is our eight, is our cemetery. So that cemetery's been there that we know of since the 1860s, but obviously we're not going to hunt that. <laughs> okay, right here, the next road should be. We're going to go straight, Rick. Now, is this house here on that map? Oh, slow down a little bit. Yeah, it's actually right there. Nobody behind us. Yeah, there is someone behind us. Okay, this is kind of cool. So. Um, yeah, we're exactly right on where the road is. On this map, 1860 map, it shows we're right here on the road. This road's called the Philbrick Road, and we're right here, dead square. Right there, the little block is an old house, and if you look, there's the old house, and that house has been there forever, and actually nobody lives in that house. They just kind of, they use the barn and stuff. Who does that? I don't know who own it, but I'm sure I could find out. Yeah. 168. That'd be good. The good one to hunt. Yes, it would. So right here, we're leaving the that old foundation now, or the old house. And actually, that's weird because there's no name on that. Not that house? Nope. So our next location is 
it says schoolhouse sh which i don't think it's going to be this place right here rick it might be i don't want to get too much information on, on, on people, invade people's property but this is an old place here just a quickie looking at it the schoolhouse is right here but according to the map all right let's slow down a little bit let's go a little bit further right about in right here somewhere it says sh is on the right schoolhouse and